Welcome back to Survivor Blog with me, your host, Jimothy Willoughby. It's the end of the world, but that won't stop us blogging. As you may be aware from your daily struggle to stay alive, the apocalypse has come to pass. But if you're watching this, you've managed to survive it. So relax, put your feet up and get ready for some useful tips on surviving the end of the world. Always boil your water. The pathogen that brings the dead back to life for savage killers is carried in the water supply, so remember to boil any water that you plan on using. Fresh food can be hard to come by these days, so if you find yourself biting into an old shoe, the grilled remains of a rival, or that belt that your father gave you, just try and imagine that it's a delicious peach or a cucumber sandwich, and you'll feel better in no time. Trust no one. Stay armed at all times and only travel at night. The hardest part of the apocalypse can be dealing with the lack of comforts you were so used to in your modern life. Things like hair product, hair gel, matte clay for your hair, combs, brushes, uh, shampoo, conditioner, other hair products. But fear not, one of these days we'll come across a warehouse full to the brim with these wonderful products, everything you've ever dreamed of. So, the tip here is to hang on in there, and in the meantime use the rendered fat of your enemies to combat frizz. Remember to barricade yourself effectively and safely into your shelter each night. This is not an effective barricade. This is. And now, apocalypse news. Every day we're getting more news back from the front lines on how the fight against the undead is going and the general state of the world. Since it was discovered that zombies were real, many other creatures previously thought to be mythical have come forward to help or hinder humanity. I can now give you an updated list of their statuses and their alignment with humanity. Bigfoot, real, good. Cerberus, real, evil. Cockatrice, not real. Fairies, real, evil. Frankenstein's monster, real, good. Interestingly, Dr. Frankenstein, not real. Sorry to anyone who voted for that in our online survey. You won't be in the running to win a week's supply of fresh water. Grendel, real. Jersey Devil, Although confirmed as real last week, we now offer the correction that the Jersey Devil is in fact not real. It was just some jerks from Jersey messing with people. A spokesperson for the American Department of Supernatural Taxonomy said, I guess we should have known by the accent. Leprechaun, not real. Mermaid, real, good, but kind of useless. Mothman, obviously not real. Tengu, not real. Unicorn, real, and surprisingly, evil. Vampires, not real. Ghosts, real, but only if their unfinished business involved telling somebody they were right about something that the other person thought they themselves were right about. Basically ghosts are pedantic jerks. Ratman of South End, real and extremely evil. Centaur, real, good. Echidna, real, evil. That's the half lady, half snake echidna, not the spiny anteater, which is in fact not real. That about wraps it up for this week. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, especially considering your subscriptions and likes still count even if you die or join the army of undead. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.